Hello everyone, it's Andrew Kemipuze and we are watching the bonus video of our course about the best multiplayer in GTA 5 region P. So first of all, sorry for a little bit latency in our videos. Uh, there was no videos around two weeks, I guess. Uh, that's why because of my time, I don't have enough time because of my real life job and also region P project. So sorry for that. Now I will try to upload uh, new videos twice a week at least. So. The topic of our bonus lesson is procedures or RPC and let's start from the definition. First of all, let's imagine that we have some situation when we have some method in our client side or service side that could be implemented in our in other side. For example, FPS count. We can't get FPS count in our service side, we could uh, calculate it only in our client side. And uh, for example, we need it in our service side for some statistic features or game systems game system. Uh, so, what could we do? First of all, the basic solution is just to trigger some event from server to client, just to tell, hey, uh, send me the event with parameter FPS, and then uh, client will accept this uh, event, like handle it, calculate the FPS, and send a new one event with this information to our server. That's cool, really, but uh, let's imagine that we need to, like, use it use this fps in some method and for example in the middle of the method we need to get fps count it's uh, it will be really hard uh, to implement uh, this thing with events there will be a lot of shitty code so for this situation procedures was created so procedures is like the method that will give you information from the other side of the system so for example you can get some information from client side and our server side just in one string by the way so, it's really hard to understand it from the first time, like with only theory, so let's practice it, uh, practice it, and no worries if you will not understand something. Uh, we will practice with, uh, we will work and practice RPC a lot in our course. Today we will just show two basic uh, implementations. So, uh, first of all I created two keys, same as the event, but uh, with RPC at the start of the string, and then who triggering it, who handling it, and what we need to do. So, first of all, let's try to... Mm -hmm. Nice copilot. So, first of all, let's try to get player F FPS from our server side, but uh, we will get FPS from our client side. So, for example, let's create a new command. Just a command. And, uh... Method word get player FPS. Let's set player player and for example, let's also use some search in our players. So we need int player ID. So first of all, we need to search the target. Target player. So we need to get we need to access all pools of the entities. As you can see in an API pools, there's all entities that could be here. There's a list of them, and we need to get all players. And here we will use link to search for the player with ID of uh, equals to player ID. Player ID. Now uh, it could return null if it uh, didn't found anything. For example, player with this uh, ID is not existing, and Copilot automatically telling us that if target equals to null, we need just to send message to the command caller to the player that player was not found. So after that. What we need to do? We need to somehow call the procedure. How we could make it? So we will use. We need to use uh, async await. We need to call it asynchronously. And I don't want to make the whole method uh, as async. So that's why I'll use task here. So we need to run a new task. It will be async task. And so, what we need to do? We will get the response from await and now we need to trigger the procedure so how to trigger it target uh no not, not call trigger yeah trigger and here is a procedure as you can see it's giving back to us the task object so there will be some object inside the task and if we will await it it will give us uh, not the task but uh, the object itself so we're triggering the procedure and we need to provide the name of this procedure. So we have get FPS key. Also, we could provide some parameters, but uh, 
this procedure will be without parameters, it will just return something to us. Then what we need to do? Uh, next, uh, we was in async method. And as you, as you know, all methods of RageMP should be called from um, main thread. So let's just uh, wait for main thread. There is a method for that. Wait for main thread. But we need to await it. And now we just need to send the message to our player. Send chat message. Uh, target dot name has yeah it, it's uh, telling us the right decision but okay we will just uh, has some some um, some count of fps but it's object and we need to like cast it to the int or to the float we will use float so we can type it right here and as you can see the type of our response is float now so it will tell us the count of FPS. Okay, but how to implement it, implement it in our client side? Okay, so first of all, we need to like always create the constructor here. So public RPC example without parameters. And we need to register new procedure. Event, oh, events, events dot add prods. Here we need to provide the name, get the PSK. And uh, we need to provide uh, the handler of it. So it will be get FPS. Also, all procedures could be async, uh, async uh, in our client side or server side. I mean, the handler of the procedures. So let's, for example, like type that uh, it will be async, async true. Okay, and now let's implement the method. So what you need to do? We need to count the FPS, how we could make it. We could make it like this. Uh, we'll divide 1000 by rage game misc get frame time. So it's the, it's the time between two frames and we could just calculate the frame count. But as you can see, we made it as a, as a sync. So here we need to provide uh, how to tell it, like task float, not uh, just a basic float. Configure float to return type, task, task float. Okay, okay. So it's a little bit wrong. We will return just a float here, I think. Uh, yeah, let's do it like this. So in here, we could call something async. Oh, sorry. Async. No, like this, yeah, sorry. Yes, it's working fine. So here, because uh, we made it uh, a sync method, we could use something asynchronously. For example, await task dot. Ah, yeah, wait async. For example, five thousand milliseconds. So it will wait five seconds and then tell us the time. Okay, I think it's done. It's returning task float and it's casting to float and sending the message. Yeah, it's done. Okay. Now let's call the usings. Probably you could get the error if you'll have uh, the wrong usings here. So don't forget to like clear them. Okay, yeah, it's working. So let's test it now. I'm so sorry, but we need to change uh, this delay time from five seconds to two seconds, because five seconds is too much and it's just crashing the server, you know? So probably there's some limit in the uh, RPC that the uh, but like checking if uh, it will not get the response in some time, it will just uh, tell it time out and other shit. So yeah, we changed it to two seconds and now let's test it. So if we will type get player FPS one, it will tell us that player not count because uh, the first player, I'm the only player in the server, the first player ID is always zero. So get player FPS zero. And after two seconds, it's telling us that I have 27 FPS. So yep, it's working fine. Let's move next. Okay, so now let's work uh, with uh, RPC slave procedures from client to the server. So let's imagine that we want to know the server time, the current server time in our client side. And for example, we want to make it uh, by key bind. So if we'll press some key, it will give us uh, 
the server time. So I will use F6. Now we need to tell on down or on key up. So it will on key down. And we, now here we need to provide the handler. So it will be uh, like show server time. Also, this method should be should be marked as async because it will await the procedure. So here, what we need to do? So again, we need to get the response. So we will await the trigger of uh, await the procedure. So how we could call it? We will use events call remote procedure, and here we need to provide uh, the key, show server time key, and uh, the parameters if we have them. We don't have any parameters here, so yeah. So again, it's uh, giving us the object, but let's cast it to string. And here we will use uh, the JSON serialization and deserialization just to like make sure that everything uh, goes well. So let's move back to our server side. And here we need to create the new method that will uh, accept this procedure and give us uh, the server time. So to mark the Procedure, we need to use the attributes, same as events, but now it's not remote event, but remote procedure. Here we need to provide the key, and also we could provide the bool, boolean, uh, will it be async or no. Here we will create the synchronous uh, method, so we will not use async here. So what our method need to do, it will be private void, uh, not the void, but it's returning uh, string. Private string show zero time, and here we need to provide. Yeah, we need to import the date time first, but we will return the JSON string. So we will use an API util to JSON, and here we need to type date time dot now. Mm, yeah, that's how it will work. So here. We are getting the object, casting it to the string, and here we need to provide oh, to deserialize it to the string, oh, to the date time. So we are creating new variable var time equals to. Uh, here we will use JSON convert. I guess you already installed the Newton soft uh, JSON. If not, just go to the NuGet packages and install it. So we use uh, JSON convert, deserialize object, and here we need to. Uh, date time from response and now we just need to tell it to our chat so rage chat output uh, current server time and here we will tell the time time to short time string yep okay should be fine now let's test it Okay, sorry, I'm an idiot, and I forgot to type here player player, because uh, just don't know uh, how to return without the definition like the player. So yeah, now we absolutely could test it. As you can see, I already got uh, two errors. I don't know why, but uh, I think because of uh, this stuff. So yeah, sorry. Now let's test. So that's all for today. Today we learned a little bit about procedures, how to use them, how to implement them. So in the next lesson, we will talk about the databases, about the data, how to store it. I mean, the player information already, not the basic info. And here, yeah, wait for the next lesson. I hope it will come, it will be uploaded tomorrow. At least I hope so. So thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, press your like also. Don't forget to comment. It will really help us to make our videos better, and I hope more often. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, see you into the next lesson. Goodbye.